Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Game Day. Uh, today we're going to be playing a game called Myra's Tale. And I reached out to the developers uh, over at uh, Canal Side Studios. I'm super excited to play this game. It looks super fun. The art style is incredible. Uh, it's a platformer style um, adventure game uh, where you solve puzzles and, and stuff like that. So yeah, let's jump into the game and see what this is all about, guys. We're in this nice little world. I've got a cute little ferret there on our side. I think that's a ferret. What's that? Hey, it's a rabbit. Are you showing me the way, bruh? Okay, look. Rabbit journal. She was in the cage and then a big bad, big bird came and took her away. Please, can you help me find her? Look at this art style. Okay, there's a little toad or frog in there. All right, so it's kind of showing me a way path to get there. That looks super far away. Hop to it. Retrieve the frog. Okay, here's a frog. Base bar to jump. Hold shift to crawl. Okay, so we can double jump. <laughs> Oh no, we can glide. We can glide. Oh no. Hold right button to. Oh! That looks scary. What's this? Okay, that's a checkpoint. Okay, my bad. Okay, we can break these rocks and we get some sort of like stones. What's that? Oh, no, okay, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, we can attack it. Is it dead? Is it dead? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's follow the rabbit, guys, to see where the rabbit's taking us. It's a trap! Oh! Yo! You trying yeah. to tap me out of the bush! Yeah. Yeah. Don't ever do that again! Don't ever do that again. Normally with like uh yeah. like platformer yeah. games, they give you like a set path that you just follow. Yeah. This one, you've got so many ways and different places to discover it. Okay, let's do that flip. You ready? Flip! Oh, she didn't do a backflip. Glide along here. Oh no, we didn't make it. <gasps> I thought I thought once I broke them, they. Oh! Okay, we're good. Really cool animations with the uh, with the gliding. I love I love the gliding. Very intuitive as well with the with the, the way the the controls work. Yeah. Very responsive. Yeah. I really want to find out what these little blue orbs do. Bad guys. Yeah. Oh, you see that slam attack? Yeah. One again, slam attack. Slam! Hulk smash! Hulk smash! <laughs> Pro gamer. Pro gamer, guys. Okay, jump up. Woo! No! Why do I even need to use the green mushroom? Why is my jumping so poor? Look, it's going to look. I think if I die one more time, I'm dead. All right, let's be careful this time. Let's be careful this time. Right. No, I think I might die. I might die. I was almost there and I fell off the last second. That was close. I need to stop talking like I know what I'm doing. There we go. Right, let's not mess this up. We did it! We got the frog! Woo! Oh! That's it! But man, this... The art style, the way the game moves, how it feels, with the way you're gliding and using the rope swing. And I hope there's a lot more to do with the story as well. The music was really catchy as well. Very smooth and ambient in the background, um, which is kind of what you want with these kind of like uh, platformer puzzle kind of games. Things that I feel like I would change in this game. Enemies. I mean, I really, I, I liked the, the way they impl implemented enemy enemies because they look quite similar to checkpoints and, and, and the, the rocks. I'm looking forward to see in the game also uh, parts of it where you get different uh, upgraded hooks or maybe you just keep the same one. I want to figure out what the ferret does that follows you around. Wishlist this game on Steam if you would like, if you like this review. If you are a developer yourself, like as always, comment down below, follow our Discord and all of our social platforms and, and if you want us to review your game on this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. I've been Michael from Admix, this has been another video of game day and i will catch you guys in the next one 
Sweet.